Hi friends, Barbara here. Okay, here's a shocker. Birth control pills can kill your libido. Have you been wondering why your sex drive drove away? Your pill can be the culprit. Oh my. Well, here's the scoop. All birth control pills contain synthetic hormones that increase the level of something called SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. What is it? Picture a lasso that comes in and binds and ties up some of your testosterone and estrogen so it can't enter your cells. Now, this is a normal function of our body so that we will stay in balance no matter how many extra hormones have entered our system. And after the binding process, what's left over is your free hormone. But you want that to be normal. The bad news is SHBG does not bind synthetic hormones because they're rogue to the body. And also, on the other hand, the synthetic hormones raise SHBG. So if you're on the birth control pill, it's a lose-lose for you. When SHBG is elevated, more of your testosterone is bound up and no longer active in your body. That means your hormone of arousal is now literally tied up. The more free testosterone you have, the higher your desire level will be. Now, isn't this the definition of irony? You're taking birth control pills to prevent pregnancy, but you have no desire to have sex. What? And by the way, friends, if you're taking birth control pills for any other reason than to prevent pregnancy, there's something better for you. You know that. If you watch my videos, that would be bioidentical hormones. But back to the libido. A study compared three groups. First group, women who'd use birth control pills for at least six months and then they stopped before the study. Second group, women had never used birth control pills. Third group, women were using them for more than six months and continued during the study. Well, guess what? The SHBG levels were four times higher in women using birth control pills than the ones who never had used them. But the most startling evidence Women who had used them and then stopped before the study continued to have the high SHBG levels. This means birth control pills can have long-term effects on your libido even after you stop them. It can last up to two years and in some cases it was found to be permanent. Yikes! Now in Europe there's a warning on birth control pills. These may decrease your libido. I have not seen this warning here in the U.S., so we need to find this information for ourselves. Gee, where's the FDA when they could do some good? That's what I want to know. Anyway, want to get your libido back? Okay, here we go. Number one, if you feel like you want to or you have to be on the birth control pills, ask your doctor to prescribe one with the lowest dose of hormones. They're called low-dose pills. Remember though, they're all synthetic. There's no bioidentical birth control pills. Um, other recommendations are the barrier method, which is condoms or a diaphragm. And people who are IUD supporters, um, you look for the Paragard IUD. That one doesn't contain any progestins. Okay, the second thing you can do, you can stop your pills for three to six months. This would allow time for you to notice a change in your libido, hopefully, without those synthetic hormones swimming through your bloodstream. Your ovaries can wake up and start producing testosterone again. Yay! Now, obviously, you're going to have to use a backup form of birth control if you do this. But your man may be very happy to let you off the hook for three to six months because I would think he would want you to have your desire back. He could use a condom. Now, some women tell me they've actually been able to talk their husband into a vasectomy. Although I know it doesn't happen very often, that's a possibility. If you've thought of tubal ligation, just before you uh, go forth with that, remember that when you cut off the blood supply to the ovaries, hormone imbalances can occur. So take that into consideration. Lastly, you could stop the pills altogether. Um, 
a lot of good doctors will recommend this if your libido has gone into the toilet. And if you're using the pill for something like endometriosis or ovarian cysts, ask him or her if there's a bioidentical option. And I know there is. One more thing, if you're on prescriptions like antidepressants or high blood pressure pills or even antihistamines, this can cause a low libido as well. So I just want to say um, in closing that you can use natural progesterone with your birth control pills. And I have the actual studies on that that show that the natural progesterone can offset some of the symptoms of um, the synthetic hormones that are in the pill. You can write to me or ask for me to mail it to you. I want you to feel healthy and happy and sexy. I've written a libido blog. You can email me for it or visit my blog, hopeforyourhormones.com. You all have doctors if you're on birth control pills. They are prescription only. So talk to him or her and see what they can suggest to help you get your libido back. I'm here just to give you more information so you're empowered. I want you to have the sweet feeling of success.